Well, what is up YouTube? Here I am. Um, it's been a really, really long time since I've done an in the bag. Uh, it's really super windy today, so mics aren't really going to pick up. I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to kind of film all the discs and then I'm going to go into post-production and kind of talk about them a little bit as we look at the discs themselves. So hopefully this is a new innovative look towards in the bags and hopefully you guys like it. We are starting off with my putting putters. These are the Fiercest in baseline plastic. I did wipe the stamps to put on the Sharpie lines. Stamps were a little bit too shiny in the sunlight. This gray one is my main putting putter. Anything inside circle, I'm gonna be pulling that out. And it's just super reliable. It tries to go in almost every single time. The purple one's a 160 beat up gram, uh, 160 gram beat up Fierce. And the pink one is a little bit heavier. The pink one's for windy putts. The purple one is for outside circle. These are Tour Series Fierces. Um, they are more for driving. So I'm gonna have some understable drives. Uh, got some hyzer flips out of this pink one, some really great hyzer flips, or throw it a little bit more flat and get a turn. This one's a little bit less used, and I can throw it flat and get a really, really nice slow pan to the right, usually only backhand though. This is my main approach disc. This is a G-Star Rhino. We're not really going to get a lot of skip or a lot of ground play with this. Mostly forehand, but some backhand as well. It just doesn't like to go anywhere, so I drew a brick. My go-to driving putters are P2s. Uh, this is gonna be my bread and butter disc. It's the stiff P line. Most of these are max weight bread and butter because I pull it out most of the time. Mainly when it's a little bit too cold, I'm gonna be reaching for this disc, which is a soft P line P2. This P2 is a little bit gummier, so if I need it to sit down, this is one I'll reach for. And I just lost my Sky God 4, so I'm using this uh, premium plastic Marshall which flies very, very similar. Um, if anyone has a Sky God that they want to get rid of, let me know. The oldest disc in my bag is this Flat Top Star Rock 3. I've had it for approximately 12 or 13 years. Um, it was started off as yellow and now it is the Lithuanian flag in honor of my roommate. Um, this is a Star Rat and it is basically the straight version of this disc, the ESP Zone. Um, so both these are going to be forehand only and I love this star rat. It really is able to go really straight, not too flexy. Moving to the second oldest disc in my bag is this star eagle, this yellow one on the left. This one's old. It flies a little bit more like a leopard three at this point because of how old it is. It's about 11 years old and um, it used to be super, super straight and that's what I'm hoping that this other Star Eagle is going to turn into once I beat it up a little bit. I'm trying to get the, those to be super straight and a little bit flippy so that I can use these next discs. These are my nine speeds. This is a G Star Sidewinder. It's a 160 gram and I got it from a U spin. It is pretty beat in already. Super, super flippy. I'll throw this on hyzer up a hill and it'll still go. This ESP Undertaker is pretty new, so it's still on the stabler end for an Undertaker flies like a beaten Thunderbird, which is really what I was looking for, um, as opposed to this disc, which is a G big germ tour series Thunderbird. I believe it's a 2019, super pretty purple swirl disc. Um, it is the stable version of my nine speeds and both all of them have some pretty good distance. Moving to my main drivers, these are star rates. Uh, this one with the green stamp is the most stable of the three. Um, this one is still on the flatter end. I can throw it on a hyzer and it will hold that hyzer, but it'll be pushing hyzer. This one is the oldest one that I have. It is super, super reliable. It is my furthest flying wraith. Backhand or forehand, throw it on a hyzer. It'll flip up to flat and glide a long, long way. This one will go probably around the 400, 380 mark backhand, 360 forehand. Um, this one is the Nathan Queen Tour Series Wraith. Um, a little bit on the domier side, so I don't throw it quite as much, especially in the wind. Um, throw this one on hyzer and it will end up turning a little bit more. To the utility discs, the most understable distance driver I have is this active plastic Astronaut. Super, super flippy. Throw it on a hyzer and it will definitely go to the right if I need a roller. Long distance roller, this is the one I'm going to reach for. 
worth it on an extreme hyzer to get it to fly straight. And then I unironically do bag a champion groove. Because for me, the champion groove flies more like a champion firebird. Just as a reminder, did actually write that one on there. Hope you can enjoy. Well, I really hope that that was helpful and informative for you guys. Um, definitely join us back next time if you want to see some more disc golf content. I'm trying to film a lot more. Um, the wind has been a little bad for the last couple of weeks, so filming has been really tough and difficult. But hopefully we can get some more content out there for you guys. So until next time, signing out.